Now Bachi Galupo, the 101 pop, now comes along. So we're almost set to go. Should be an interesting maiden. Beautiful conditions here today from Kalgoorlie. They're off and uh, racing. Spiros a little bit slow. It went out the back. Moshar didn't jump the best and slurp and Turpin was also eased towards the back of the field. Uh, and let me pass. Won the start. Goes straight to the lead from North Cole. Black Romance going around the outside. Settling up fourth there is Big Ransom and then Bang Crash who's over on the inside of Spiros. Buffman settling in the second half of the field. Along with Polite Pass then came Batchy Galupo. They're running along up in front. Slurp and Turpin. It is well back with Volkswagen Frank and uh, over on the inside Moshard at the tail towards the 8.50 they go and let me pass. Pateman looking for a double in the opening couple of races. Shows the way by two. Over on the outside Black Romance second. Uh, North Colours third on the inside for Pike and a further one and a half to Black Ransom who's over on the outside Big Ransom fourth. Then a further one and a half to Bang Crash. Polite pass on the move from Batchy Galupo. Well back in the field is Spiros. Along here with Slurp and Turpin. Buffman on the inside Volkswagen Frank and uh, back Moshart is back last as they come around the corner now and uh, let me pass out in front the grey leads by a length and a half North Coles had the run on his back all the way gets into the open uh, big ransom black romance polite pass down the outside with Slurp and Turpin uh, North Cole goes to let me pass who's kicking let me pass and uh, North Cole North Cole and let me pass North Cole put his head in front North Cole wins it Pike gets his first winner of the day and his first rider let me he passes run second, uh, photo for third, uh, between Polite Pass, Slurp and Turpin, uh, Big Ransom, Black Romance, then Bang Crash, they were followed by Volkswagen Frank, well back was Buff Band, Batchy Galupo, Moshard never in the race, and Spiros at the tail, North Cole, number five, perfect ride, I Pike the champion, he had it behind the leader, and uh, it's got up in the concluding stages here to win. Uh, trained by uh, Josh Brown uh, down in Esperance. Josh has got Where's Wally engaged later on today. So he could be set for a good day. Let me pass. Who uh, got out of the gates fast. Went to the leader. Had every chance. But North Cole off his back has worn him down. Uh, third goes to number 11, Slurp and Turpin. Running a good race from the back. Matt Ortigier, 5, 3 and 11 are up, 5, 3, 11, 124.87 is the time, 124.87, North Cole, he ran a good race here last start, uh, went second behind uh, Bantry over the 1600, back to the 14, uh, now fourth goes to number four, Big Ransom, it was always up near the lead and uh, fought hard, so it's 5, 3, 11 and uh, 4 after race number two on the program, but North Cole too good. His 11th start today. He's a four-year-old Bay Gelding by Regano out of Nor'easter. So he's well-bred, North Cole. Josh Brown, I Campbell, also T. Clark, P. McKay and Mrs. D. Wright. The owners there of North Cole. Congratulations to all them. Josh Brown down in uh, Esperance uh, training him. I'm not sure if it's Josh's uh, first winner. But uh, he's uh, got Where's Wally engaged a little bit later on too. Very classy galloper first up today. And uh, Pike hot off his five winners yesterday. Of course, uh, William Hales from Kulgardi, coming from a very small town. So champions uh, can come from anywhere, as we see in many sports. And uh, William certainly that. Second uh, is number three, Let Me Pass, trained by Peter Fernie, owned by R. Batty. He's a gelding by Murder Jill, a five-year-old. And uh, he uh, adds another placing there. He's on five placings from six starts. It's a long neck by a length, a long neck, by a length here on 5, 3, 11 and a 4, Slurp and Turpin, trained by Brett Matthews, Matt Ortier, third and a fourth in. Uh, put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen, here for uh, William Pike as he brings back in North Cole, winning the Reese Plumbing Calgary Maiden. Thanks, Dave. We'll try and catch up with uh, winning uh, rider William Pike very shortly. He's just uh, he's just uh, taking the uh, girth strap off the winner in North Cole. But uh, most importantly, we've got the winning trainer in Josh Brown. Congratulations, Josh. Uh, he's improved at uh, the three runs back this preparation. 
and uh, even though he was uh, stepping back in distance, uh, the gem of the ride, Pike put him in the gun spot there behind the leader, couldn't have asked for much better and pulled him out in the home straight. Yeah, no, obviously it helps with William on. He gives him every chance and that's why he's our premier rider in the state. Um, I'd just like to thank the owners. Um, when we first got this horse, he had a few issues and, and I said, take some trust and we'll tip him out for six months, give him a good spell and, and bring him back for Kalgoorlie. So credit to them. They've been patient and waited and now we finally get some reward back, which is good. Yeah, that's great. And you've also got Wes Wally engaged later on. Uh, just for the punters out there, how's he been working out on the beach down there in uh, Esperance? Yeah, he's loving his Esperance life. Um, he, he may still need the run first up, but he's, he, hasn't, he hasn't missed a beat since he's come into work, so um, I can't fault him. OK, very good. That's Josh Brown, winning trainer of North Coal, folks. Uh, 11 start today, and that's his first win. His broken maiden status, North Coal, the Regano four-year-old. We'll try and catch up with the uh, leading rider, William Pike, back on his home territory, or you could say about 35 kilometres west of, or east of, I should say, but uh, born and bred in Coolgardy. Welcome back, William, and uh, a gem of a ride sitting and lobbing behind the leader with this one and uh, being able to pull out in the home straight and uh, put pay to them. Amidst it was only, um, only a short uh, margin on the line, but uh, he's a grinding type, do you think? Yeah, that's right. Um, he feels a bit, um, you know, like he's still learning his job. He didn't know how to put him away. I felt like the winner in the straight, but just, just the effort of putting his head in front almost felt like too much for him. Um, I thought it was a good effort, you know, to stick his head out. It was, it didn't, they, they didn't stop for him. He had to actually get past him. And he hasn't been far away at those three runs back, even though he was uh, dropping back in distance today. But uh, because you were able to uh, lob handy and, and more forward to them, it didn't really worry that much. Yeah, pretty much. Um, it took, you know, took the need for a big kick out of it. We were stalking, coming back from a longer distance. He was always going to be strong on the line, and that's pretty much what got him over the line today, I think. Congratulations. That's a winning, tra winning rider, I should say. Probably a trainer in his own right as well down the... Uh uh, a few years time but uh, William Pike folks uh, leading state rider he's taken out race number two with North Cole